I thought you'd want to know where Dante's true loyalties lie. He's... distracted. Distracted by a maid? Yes, it's more serious than you think. If she stays, it'll only get worse. Uh, uh -huh. I knew it. That girl's been a problem from the start. We have to get rid of her. Dante will come around once she's out of the picture. We can't just remove her. That would raise too many questions, especially with Dante. He's already defying us. Then we'll have to be more strategic. If Layla won't leave on her own, we'll make her want to. Okay, what fresh hell is this? Why am I serving drinks at a dinner I should not be involved in? Layla, dear, why don't you sit for a moment? Join us. Yeah, nope, definitely feels like a trap. But do I have a choice? I'm sure Layla has better things to do than intrude on family matters. Uh, thanks, but I should really get back to work. Stay. This feels like one of those mafia movies where the guy who gets invited to dinner is never seen again. Note to self, survive this. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just a little family chat. Yeah, a family chat that feels more like I'm sitting in front of a firing squad. She doesn't need to be here. You're right, Dante. She doesn't. And neither do you. At least not if you continue to undermine our family. I'm not going to sit here and let you dictate my life. Layla's staying. I don't care what you think. She's a distraction, Dante. You're risking everything for her. I'm risking nothing. But you're all risking losing me if this continues. Okay, when did this turn into a Romeo and Juliet situation? This is getting way too intense. If you walk out of this room with her, Dante, you're walking out on the family. Then I guess I'm out. Is this happening? Are we seriously running away right now? I didn't even pack a toothbrush. Get in. What? Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Okay, so this escalated quickly. One minute I'm dodging Sophia's evil glares, and the next I'm on the run with the Mafia Prince. What is my life? Dante, are you sure about this? Like, leaving your family? I've never been more sure about anything. Uh, is that... Are we being chased? Okay, okay, okay. What do we do? Looks like the family's not letting me go that easily. Hold on. This is it. This is how I die. In a high-speed chase with the Mafia Prince. Somebody write this on my tombstone. Dante, do you even know where we're going? I know a place. Just trust me. Trust him, he says. Sure, why not? It's only my life on the line. Okay, we survived. I did not, in fact, die today. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. It's not like you had much of a choice, right? I always have a choice, Layla, and I choose you. Okay, so now he's definitely trying to kill me. With feelings. Okay, so... This is how you know things are serious. When your boyfriend-slash-mafia prince takes you to his underground Batcave, 
Is this where he keeps the Batmobile? We should lay low here for a while. Dante, this is insane. Your family's after us. I mean, we can't just hide out forever, right? No, we can't. But we need time. Time to figure out our next move. <laughs> Layla, I know this is a lot, but I need you to trust me. I'm doing this for us. Great. He's being all vulnerable now. How am I supposed to stay mad at him? I trust you, Dante. I just... I don't know if I'm cut out for this whole on-the-run-from-a-mafia family thing. It's kind of above my pay grade as a... maid. Now you're more than that, Layla. You've always been more. And of course, just when I'm about to have a moment, my phone decides to ruin it. Story of my life. It's my mom. She's been calling nonstop since I got expelled. She doesn't know about all this, does she? No way. She'd freak out if she knew I was involved with a mafia prince and on the run. Maybe it's time you told her the truth. Yeah, and maybe pigs will fly. Okay, Layla, deep breaths. You're not dreaming. You're in a hideout with the most ridiculously good-looking mafia prince ever, and you just outran a whole bunch of bad guys. Totally normal Tuesday night. You've been quiet. What's going on in that head of yours? Oh, you know, just the usual. Fleeing from murderous mafiosos, hiding in sketchy garages. And maybe wondering if this is all one crazy fever dream where I accidentally ate too much leftover pizza. And what if it's not a dream? Oh no, this is it. The moment my teenage dreams decide to strut into real life. I am definitely not equipped for this level of hotness. I've been waiting for this, Layla. Oh my god, this is actually happening. Somebody pinch me. No wait, don't. If this is a dream, let me live in it. Still think you're dreaming? I mean, I did eat leftover pizza pretty late last night, so there's a chance this is just a really vivid food coma. I have no idea how I ended up here, but you know what? I'll take it. Bring on the Mafia Prince makeout session. Universe, I'm ready. So, do I get to wake up now, or are we making my high school fantasy come true? This isn't a dream, Layla. I'm right here. Oh, wow. I'm really doing this. I'm living my teenage fantasy. The dream came true, people. Somebody hand me an award. And honestly, it's even better than the fantasy. Who knew that real life could actually be this good? We can't just let them get away. Dante's being reckless. And what do you suggest, Inez? We've already sent people after them. I have a contact. Someone who can bring them back without raising suspicion. He's discreet. And you trust this contact? With my life. He'll make sure Dante comes back without any complications. Do it, but make sure it's clean. No loose ends. It'll be as if they never left. Okay, if this is another spam call, I swear. Jake? Why is he calling me now? Jake? What's up? Layla, where the hell are you? I heard you got expelled, and now there's a rumors. Crazy rumors about you being involved with some mafia guy? Uh, who told you that? Everyone's talking about it back home. What's going on, Layla? You need to come back. This sounds dangerous. Jake, it's complicated, but I'm fine. Really. If you need help, you know you can count on me. I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing. I appreciate it, Jake, but I've got this... kind of. I'll call you later, okay? Great. Now even my past is catching up with me. Can a girl just have a normal, non-mafia-related crisis? 
Who was that? Just an old friend. No one we need to worry about. Okay, so the hiding thing is getting old. How long can we stay cooped up in this underground lair without going stir-crazy? Stay here. Who would even know we're here? Open up! It's the police! Yeah, sure. Definitely sounds like a cop. Not sketchy at all. Stay behind me. I knew this was a trap. Easy now, Dante. No need for a fight. We're just here to bring you home. Your family's orders. Okay, okay. This is not how I imagined our action-packed getaway going. I don't even know if I can run in these shoes. Tell my father I'm not coming back. You're wasting your time. Oh, I don't think I'm wasting my time, Dante. Your father wasn't clear about the method. He just wants results. Stay behind me no matter what. Okay, so apparently I'm living out one of those boyfriend fights off bad guys action scenes and I'm not ready. I should be running right now, but instead, I'm standing here like an extra in Die Hard. Let go of me, you psycho. Go now. Of course this is happening. Dante's in some mafia brawl while I'm running away like a complete coward. Typical. Layla, get out of here. Come on, we need to keep moving. I can't believe this is happening. I should be at home, binge watching Bridgerton, not running from hitmen. Come on, we need to keep moving. So, apparently this is my life now. Running through dark alleys with a mafia prince, probably wanted by every crime boss in the city. Totally normal. We should be safe for now, but we need a new plan. They'll be looking for us everywhere. Yeah, because that's what we need right now. More running. What's next, the FBI? Alien abductions? Don't worry, Layla. I'm not letting anything happen to you. Yeah. No pressure. Just relying on my mobster boyfriend to keep me alive. What could go wrong? They got away, but not for long. I've sent more men after them. I told you to handle it, Inez. No loose ends. Perhaps you've underestimated them, Inez. Dante is not as weak as you think. I haven't underestimated anyone. Layla is the one complicating things. If it weren't for her, Dante would have been home by now. Then deal with her. I want my son back, and I want that girl out of the picture. For good. I'll take care of it. They've defied us for too long. Dante's made his choice, and it's not our family. We've given them enough warnings. If Dante refuses the marriage, we take care of him permanently. No one crosses the Don. He chose her over me. I can't let that stand. If it means killing Dante, then we will. We can't allow this disrespect to continue. The Marino family is nothing without control. I want to be there. I want to see him pay for his betrayal. You'll get your chance. Let go of me. If you touch her, you won't be touching anyone soon, Marino. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. The lovebirds. 
So this is the great Dante Marino, willing to risk everything for a maid. This has nothing to do with her. Let her go. Oh, but it has everything to do with her. She's the reason you left me. You could have chosen anyone, anyone. But you walked away for a maid. How pathetic. Don't be naive, Dante. Did you really think you could just walk away from everything? From your family? From your obligations? You've always been a disappointment, but this falling for a maid? How pathetic. Evelyn, you don't understand. This isn't about the family anymore. This is about what's right. You've made your bed, Dante. And now you're going to die in it. This can't be happening. Is this really how it ends? I can't let him die because of me. And this now. I'll finish what you couldn't. He's nothing but a traitor now. And she's the weakness that will destroy him. If you're going to kill me, do it. But leave her out of this. Say hello to my little friend. You mess with me, you're messing with the best. You won't leave here alive, Angelo. That's what you think. Blood is thicker than water. You both are safe now. Thank you. It's time to end this. We were wrong to push you away. Let's go home. Dante, do you take Layla to be your lawfully wedded wife? To have and to hold, even when she steals the covers and binge watches Netflix without you? I do. But if she watches Bridgerton without me again, we're going to need couples therapy. And Layla, do you take Dante to be your lawfully wedded husband? Even when he refuses to ask for directions and gets lost, despite using Google Maps? Oh, I do. But let's be real. I'm the one driving from now on. No cap. Bet, but I'm still in charge of the music. As long as it's not your 90s playlist again. That was low-key cringe. Kids these days. All right, moving on before I lose my mind like I lost my Wi-Fi signal. By the power vested in me and my infinite patience for memes and pop culture, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dante, you may kiss the bride, but try not to go full PDA couple at the mall on us. Don't worry, fam, I got this. I'm low-key scared now. And there you have it, folks. True love in the age of memes. I'd say goals, but that's pushing it. Who knew I'd be out here getting married and roasting my husband in the same ceremony? Winning. We're the real power couple. No cap. Simp for life! Simp for life! Did we just become the first married meme couple? Yeah, and I'm totally posting this with the hashtag hash married but still cringe. This isn't over. I swear, this isn't over.